Hi, it's Aurelius. In this video, you're going to learn how to add that text shadow or that drop shadow behind your text in Canva. Here's a couple of examples. So we've got the one above, which is more solid. So I've got this drop shadow going on, but the one below is more blurry. So depending on the type of drop shadow you want, you know, we can achieve this in Canva really quickly and easily, and I'll show you starting right now. Start by adding your text. So I'll go to text and let's go and choose this template right here. And I'll just delete this one right here. And so we're left with this. All right, so I'll just put text shadow right here and just expand that so we can fit the entire text in one line. And I'll just position it in the center just so we can focus in on that. And whatever text you want that drop shadow to have, simply click it and then you'll see effects, all right? Effects is what you wanna look for. And from here, you'll be given some styles. Now, you're free to play around with the styles that you want. You've got, you know, obviously your shadow, which we'll go get back to. We've got a lift, we've got hollow, splice, outline, echo, uh, glitch, kind of like that TikTok effect, neon, and background. What we will choose is just shadow, right? Since we want a shadow text uh, right behind that text. And then the adjustments that you can play around with include uh, the offset. So you can have it further uh, from the actual primary text up to 100 there, or you could have it just basically nowhere, <laughs> or you could have just a bit of it if you'd like. So if you wanna really emphasize it, obviously have it more towards there, uh, but we're just gonna have it kind of neutral so that we can actually see it. And then what you can also adjust is the direction. So we've got minus 45, uh, but we can say something like there, you know, depending on the position, the direction that you want uh, that sh text shadow to appear. But this is kind of the typical, right? About minus 45 or somewhere around there, right? So once you have that in place, let's zoom in. You can see what it looks like. You could also blur it. So depending how, you want that text, uh, that drop shadow to look, you know, you could play around with that effect right there. So you could have it, you know, really blurry like so. And of course, changing the actual color of your text, let's change it to something like blue. All right, now what you can also do is, let's go back, is change the shadow uh, color. All right, so we've got this blue text and the color of the actual shadow is black, but we can change it to that same blue color just to match it up a bit. And what we can also adjust is the actual transparency of, of how much uh, text of that effect we want. So we can increase it, you know, emphasizing the shadow a bit more, but that can uh, actually make it look pretty bad as you can see and not readable. So what we can do is just decrease that transparency down and just adjust it however much we want. So let's say somewhere there looks about right. You know, that looks pretty good there and it still looks readable. Also at the same time, it still pops as you can see. Uh, if you do not want that text effect, then go back to effects and just click none and you're back to the beginning. And in just a few clicks, as you saw, you can add that text shadow to any text of yours. Now, if you wanna learn more text effects, I've got another video that you'll love. So I'll link it in the description box below and right here, right now. So go ahead, click that and I'll see you there.